Hello and welcome back to Coral Kiwi Arts. Now I don't normally post that often but I did one during the middle of the week and it was me drawing some flowers. Now it was an old video that I posted up on my other channel uh, back in 2019 so I thought I'd share it on this channel. I put it down below because it's not really relevant to all the material that I've been doing on my channel. Uh, but because it's art and because I drew the flowers, I thought I'll share it to you guys. And uh, yes, and also I'd like to say thank you for all those people who have decided to come and follow our YouTube channel, Coral Kiwi Arts. Welcome. And my name is Darren. And thank you very much. And it's really good. I love to encourage people to draw because drawing is is everything what it is to me it takes me to my happy place it takes me to another world and uh, I like to share that world with you my experience of drawing I like to share that with you as an artist um, now Stan the Badger that's right he suggested in a comment that uh, I should draw a, a rowboat with some oars so I'll do that but I'm going to put a landscape around it. So today I'll decided to use pencil or pen. We'll decide where this drawing is going to go. Um, reason why pen is better because the camera picks it up and uh, the pencil doesn't. And um, this is my pencil case. It's a box or it's a, it's a package of organic tea. <laughs> It's empty, but it makes a great pencil case. Okay, here we go. Thank you for watching. So, oh, that is a bit close, isn't it? Um, doesn't matter. I hope it stays in focus. Okay, uh, I, would, I decided to use pencil today. But someone had suggested to me in a comment last week, I think it may have been Stan the Badger or Edward, can't remember they suggested I should put some cellophane behind the paper so when I use my black ink pen it won't run into the next page which is a brilliant idea I don't know why I didn't think of it thank you for that so here we go a boat so I may put um, some trees so it's going to be a quick picture it's a reference picture in a way. So if I wanted to draw something or have a finished product, I can just come back and clean it all up. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it. When I used to do glass art, clients would come in and uh, they would say to me, or I would say to them, what would you like for your glass? What sort of pattern would you like? And they would tell me. So. I'll draw it up on the spot for them really quickly so they can get an idea of what it would look like on their glass and uh, I had to be quick because running a business I couldn't uh, spend too much time doing a picture it was going to take me an hour to draw if they decide that they don't want it so it's best for me to draw something quickly and then they can if they don't like it I can draw another one for them so that's how it worked and most of the time they liked it and then I would then fix it up come back and redraw it and then show them again I'll email it to them and then they would say yes or no and then I would uh, Add that to the glass, sandblast it on the glass. So I've got a couple of trees there. I'll do a little bank here. Little bank comes down like that, and I'll put another tree here. I love drawing trees. 
trees are like clouds. They're free. They're never the same. Except for pine trees, of course. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Trees are... Oh, they're like people. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. And I guess they have personalities as well. Because trees are living. They're living entities. They provide us oxygen. Provide us fruits. And when a tree dies, we can use its timber to make beautiful furniture. We should never chop a tree down if it's still alive. So, just drawing the outside of these trees, it's going to be a quick picture today. This one I'm going to bend over like that. Come over there like that. I have no idea where this is going. I'm just making it up as I go. That's the whole thing about doing imagination drawings. You sort of you're going out of your comfort zone and I can end up making a mistake of this but at the end of the day it doesn't matter it does pay to draw all the time the more you draw the better you get I don't know if it's easy to draw first thing in the morning or you wait till the afternoon. So you're more awake. Um, I'm going to try, I won't promise you this, but I'm going to try and upload once least once a week put that over there I'm putting in the leaves of the trees in there come over here like this Sometimes my trees, they look like broccoli. <laughs> broccoli trees. Funny. I was speaking to my niece yesterday and she's also an artist a very good artist indeed and I asked her to show me some of her pictures and she she drew this picture of this character and it was wow it was really good did such a good job
So I've got another broccoli tree here. Almost looks like a putkawa, but it's too thin to be a putkawa tree. Come down through there like that. I hope you can see that. Yes, yeah, she's very young and so she's got a very bright future ahead of her. So if she keeps up doing her art, she's got a lot of potential there. I'll do some ground roots here like that. I've seen some trees with the roots, they, they travel for a long way. I try and not stand on them. I'll come up through here, oh, you, can't, you can't see that, because I made my picture bigger. I'll move it around anyway. I'll put some grasses in there like that. I also uploaded a video of me painting a picture. I wasn't showing anyone my painting, of course, because it's a big surprise. But I was just talking at the camera with something different. Let us know if you want me to do more videos like that. I'll do a flax in here and I'll do some bulrushes this could be near the lake Grasses, oops, I'll move it down here. Put some grasses through here. I won't do that next time. I'll make sure that the picture is bigger. I mean, I'll make sure that the picture is smaller so you can see what's going on. I made it big so that you could see the pencil. <laughs> you can see my cat now, she's playing with my pen. I'll make that dark through there. <clears throat> put a more grasses through here. Let's do this side. Maybe I'll put a little bush in here, little hebe. A little hebe bush through there. And I'll do another one just here. Some more grasses. Come out through here. Mm -hmm. 
These are great to use if you're wanting to use them for painting ideas. Don't eat my pencil. Yeah. My cat loves eating pencils and pens. She's like two years old. She's not teething. So I don't know why she likes chewing on pencils. Especially my ones. Okay. I'm just going where I think you may need some shading in there, some grasses. I've been watching some videos on how to paint grasses and I tried. It's not easy. I've painted a lot of grass pictures in my paintings lately and uh, I just can't seem to get my paintbrush to flow like they do in there um, or while they're painting their pictures they make it look so easy so this is going to be a little bit of dirt for here now I'm going to put um, a boat through here it could be on the bank now how's the boat go it's rim we'll do a rim there We'll do the, the ribs of the boat. Like that. this one through. I guess I could fix it. Do some shading in here to hide my terrible pencil. Drawing. the other oar here. Yeah, not all is lost. Come down through here. I see they've got these new pencils out now that prevent the lead from giving that shine that you get in the picture. Well, that happens by 
pressing too hard on the paper. And if you don't press too hard on the paper, you won't get that shine or that reflection that lead normally gives. Just a little bit of shading underneath the ribs here. I'm doing my best to try and fix this up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now, let's do some water in the background. I'll come across the background with a straight line. Something like that. And then I'll do some vertical lines. Oh, sorry, horizontal lines. Horizontal lines, not vertical lines. And in the background, I make them darker, and when I come a bit closer, I make it lighter, and then spread them apart to give it distance to create distance. And let's put another, maybe, a hill in the background here. Put some more trees. It started to look like a mountain. I didn't want a mountain or a hill that looked bigger than it should because this is the lake scene, the seaside or seashore scene. So I'll put some trees there in the background. through there and and across there and maybe yes why not let's put a little boat With a hat. Right, 
romantic couple out in the water there. Rowing. Yeah. I could do some more detail on these trees. Add leaves and all sorts in here. So if you've got a, a lot more time than I normally have, you can put leaves and all sorts in there. Come through there like that. Okay, let's sign this. All done. There you go. Wow, I felt like my mouth was full of chewing gum while I've been eating peanut butter sandwiches. I've never stumbled so much in my wording before. I've actually have seen it quite a bit in some of the videos I've been watching lately. I'm watching live television and they make it uh, well they stumble their words but they fix it or they correct it straight away they about to say something and then they stop it and then create a new word <laughs> so that's it thank you so much for watching and I will draw something else that's different next week and thank you again for the suggestion so if anyone out there has any more suggestions or ideas for my next imagination drawing, please leave it in the comments box below. And thank you again for watching. Bye now.